after becoming the first human in world history worth $200 billion. Jeff Bezos has finally decided to slow things down. Amazon's founder will leave the role of CEO in the third quarter of 2021. So what exactly is Bezos planning to do with his extra time and all that money? Today, I'm going to show you how Jeff Bezos spends his millions. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 13. A Colossal Clock Bezos has invested $42 million in an enormous 10,000-year clock being built by the Long Now Foundation. The clock, which will tick just once a year, is under construction inside a mountain Bezos owns in the Sierra Diablo region of Texas. The final device will be 500 feet tall. Special rooms in the clock chambers will be open at specific intervals, and a unique chime will ring each millennium. The builders want visitors to consider how we can make sure humanity survives to hear the clock ring for the last time. Number 12. A Most Luxurious Watch Jeff Bezos also owns a personal timepiece with a big price tag, a wristwatch that retails for $8,000 to $12,000 and was made by swanky Swiss watchmaker Ulysse Nadam. The company was founded in 1846 and was trusted by natives for its highly accurate marine chronometers. This stunning piece of jewelry is a dual time model, meaning it can display the time in two time zones, a handy feature for the jet set crowd. Although you might never consider spending $12,000 on a watch, it's considered a relatively modest timepiece for such a rich man. You can even buy one on Amazon. Number 11. A Dream of Space Travel Amazon isn't Bezos' only innovative company. He's also the founder of Blue Origin, an aerospace company that aims to make flying into space something an average person can do. In a massive Texas cornfield, Blue Origin has been testing rockets that launch and land vertically. Once the technology is perfected, the company hopes to offer commercial flights to space. Bezos has been quoted as saying he funds Blue Origin by selling about $1 billion in Amazon stock each year. The name refers to the blue planet, Earth, where the rockets originate. Number 10. Surprisingly Modest Cars Okay, so Jeff Bezos probably has staffers who drive him around in limousines these days, but he was famously seen behind the wheel of rather simple vehicles long after he first became a billionaire. The Amazon founder had a cherished 1987 Chevrolet Blazer that he drove for years and took on cross-country road trips. Bezos struck it rich when his company went public in 1997, so he upgraded his transportation to a still modest 1999 Honda Accord. Until 2013, his ex-wife Mackenzie Scott was still driving him to work in a Honda. Though Bezos clearly doesn't need to worry, ordinary drivers should know that a less expensive car doesn't always translate to less expensive car insurance. Shopping for better rates, as often as every six months, is a much better way to save up to $1,000 per year. Number 9. An Outlet for His Curiosity What happens when you have a lot of money and a healthy sense of curiosity? Well, when you're Jeff Bezos, you found an organization called Bezos Expeditions. The organization provides funding for ideas, movements, and businesses that Bezos is personally interested in. Blue Origin and the 10,000-year clock are both part of the venture, as are charitable donations through the Bezos Day One Fund and Bezos Family Foundation. It also provided money for retrieval of pieces of Apollo 11 and has invested in Airbnb, Twitter, Uber, and other cutting-edge businesses. Number 8 a ground floor investment in Google. In 1998, the internet was taking off, but the financial side of it was still largely uncharted territory. Jeff Bezos took a big gamble on Google, investing a reported $1 million in the search engine company. That was a very big deal, considering that Bezos was worth a mere $1.6 billion at the time. Now that Google is a thriving tech giant right up there with Amazon, Bezos' investment has proven to be money well spent. Ordinarily, if you wanted to buy even a single share of Google or Amazon today, 
you need to drop some major Bezos bucks. But a popular investing app will allow you to buy a piece of these companies for just a couple bucks. Number 7. A Deluxe Apartment in the Sky Bezos owns a massive apartment, or four, in the ritzy high-rise building in New York City. In 1999, he bought three connected apartments, totaling 10,000 square feet, for $7.65 million from Tommy Mottola, the music industry executive once married to Mariah Carey. And in 2020, he dropped another $16 million on an apartment just under the other three units. The Manhattan real estate gives Bezos a place to crash during his occasional trips to the Big Apple. Amazon has several offices there and continues to expand, though it canceled grand plans for a second headquarters. Number 6. A Chunk of Downtown Seattle In Amazon's hometown of Seattle, Jeff Bezos purchased four downtown city blocks and constructed some of the most futuristic office spaces you've ever seen. The biospheres and other unique architecture in the area known as Denny Triangle likely help employees come up with new ideas to keep Amazon thriving. Bezos knows how to keep his company looking innovative, which helps to bolster the brand. Number 5. The Washington Post In 2013, Jeff Bezos bought the legendary newspaper The Washington Post for $250 million. In the deal, he also acquired the Spanish-language paper El Tiempo and several smaller national and local papers. Bezos said he was attracted to the Post because he admired its journalistic style and standards. He vowed to continue the newspaper's history of independent journalism. The paper has had a rebirth under the Amazon founder. It has expanded its online presence, attracted some of the brightest millennial minds, won major awards, beaten the competition to major scoops, and drawn angry tweets from a former resident of the White House. Number 4. A Private Jet Since Amazon and Jeff Bezos' other companies are all over the world, it makes sense that he would buy a private jet. His Gulfstream G650ER came with a price tag of $65 million. But while private jets are known for requiring frequent stops, this beauty travels further and faster than comparable ones. The G650ER boasts a maximum range of 8,630 miles at Mach 0.85, or if you're in a hurry, 7,365 miles at Mach 0.9. It's okay to pay for comfort and convenience if you've got the money to spare. If you don't, it might be time to look for a better paying job or even a lucrative side gig. Modern technology has made the search way less painful. Number 3. Donations to Charity The Bezos Family Foundation handles all of Jeff Bezos' philanthropic efforts. In the past, he has been criticized because his giving has seemed relatively small compared to that of other billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. However, Bezos topped the list of charity givers in 2020 with a $10 billion contribution toward fighting climate change. Progress at Blue Origin isn't moving fast enough to find humanity a new home quite yet. A total of $791 million of his Bezos Earth Fund has been awarded to 16 recipients so far, including the World Wildlife Fund and the Nature Conservancy. Number 2. Double-Sized Estate Every king needs his castle, Bezos has more than one. Mansion Global says his estate in Medina, Washington is on a 10-acre lot and includes two homes, each with five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Fellow billionaire Bill Gates is his next-door neighbor. The late Jeffrey Brotman, co-founder of the Costco Wholesale Club chain, also lived in Medina. The median home value in Medina, which is named after a city in Saudi Arabia, is $3.1 million. Thank goodness for today's record low mortgage rates boosting Americans' buying power. Bezos' sprawling property is conveniently located 15 minutes from Amazon's headquarters. Number 1. A house in D.C. that was literally a museum. Maybe it's fitting that the owner of one Washington institution, the Washington Post, has chosen another to be his home when he's in town. In 2016, Bezos paid $23 million for the Capitol's former textile museum. The exhibits relocated to George Washington University and decided to turn the historic 27,000-square-foot building into a residence. The mansion reportedly includes a ballroom, whiskey cellar, 
a movie theater, and two elevators. He even hosted a swanky after-party at the mansion in early 2020, drawing the likes of White House staffers and Hollywood celebrities. Thanks for watching, guys! If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and I'll see you in the next video!